Hey yo, what's up my beloved champions fam, it's the bad guy of WWE champion Zeke 4 0 back with a brand new video. Now this is going to be short, sweet, and brief, right to the point, but we shall proceed to give you what you need with this Summer of Darkness Striker Limited Time Tour. It does conclude on Friday, so make sure to get it knocked out beforehand. So, with this tour, the contest superstar is Play or Pain Modern Era Striker Alexa Bliss. We got very lucky with the um, Madman Premium Chests, the purple chests that are available in certain milestone steps, and we were able to recruit Alexa Bliss at four star bronze. However, I have become very, very, uh, how should I say, anal when it pertains to certain uh, makes and takes when it pertains to these contests and superstars. For instance, this past weekend, I took up, uh, took up the Miz. I ended up having enough shards to do it. I had the tokens, and he was a few line bonus. For Alexa Bliss, though, although I like her, although I enjoy her coaching ability for Power Gems, and she is really fun to use. She even has a, has a um, pin bar, doesn't move build. At the end of the day, as much as I like her, my TP is very scarce right now. So I had to call an audible and we're going to run this for this part of the tour. We're going to use someone else. We used Alexa for normal and hard mode. And we got those 10 matches out of the way to get the additional 5 million per match to help out with the master manager contest. But this time for hell mode, for the three nodes we can do, because unfortunately we do not have Roxanne Perez, the prodigy, green and red plus four trainer. So kudos to those. Shout out to Lee for finally getting her thanks to the Universal Champions Club. We are going to have to call an audible on this, and yes, that does mean missing out on certain resources, but we are going to use my girl, Sonya Deville, who we pulled in the six-star Spangled Banner pulls, if I recall correctly. Yep, we did get her from there. So, this is the build that we're running, and just to show you, we do not have everything fully maxed out for her. She, her moves are literally at level 12 right now because... TP is scarce and coins are up and I want to keep them up. I want to keep building up and getting further and further ahead within the billion. So we pumped in enough. We pumped in 60 million coins. That also helped out with the master manager milestones. But this is what we're running real here, right here. It's easy, simple build. And if I'm doing something wrong, by all means, please correct me in the comments below. DDT, choose move black, get those the wild cardo, get the match. Get the finisher loaded. Spear, deal damage, make a ton of cross break gems. And last but certainly not least, the elevator. We're going to deal damage and make 40 of those cross break gems into red gems. And if we just so happen to go against a striker, or go up against a trickster, we'll deal damage and you'll get bonus damage for every cross break. That is the breaks right there. Now, the build is actually really easy. It's literally a free to play friendly build. Butch was a free-to-play champion. Nikki Ash was a free-to-play champion. Zombie uh, Zombie Priest is a free-to-play champion. Shout out to my broski. I will get back to you after this video. And then we have Tech Stacy, who's been highly, highly available in multiple, multiple builds and, and banners and loopholes and deals within the store. So Red MP plus four, we have 24K flat damage from the Nikki and Stacy, and then last but not least, we have 30% red damage thanks to Zombie Priest. So the stats are real easy right here. We got 46k for this. Now she is obviously at level 200. She is not maxed all the way out. We are not doing that right now. But we took her up, and we also, I believe, we do have the gem defense strap on her for 40 plus. Uh, 40, uh, 40 plus. So we will do what we got to do. I really wish that her aesthetic did look like the actual card because that isn't Sonya Deville. And what's better is I believe her the epithet is um, hair up and square up, hair up and square up. Why doesn't she change it to having it in the bun? 
That's the whole thing that gets me. Sometimes champions does make me sit back and I'm like, you got to call the hair up and square up, but she doesn't even have her hair up. So how does that even count for the epithet that you're trying to use? And this is real simple. This is going to be easy. It's going to be basically a, uh, being a, it's going to be a doppelganger situation with what we're about to do here. This build literally loads itself. It's real quick and easy. A lot of people were able to uh, recruit Sonya Deville prior to the six-star gold meta. She was one of the last champions um the champion chases before the nlc rework so this is easy that's an easy dub easy clap and basically what we're trying to do here is this we literally want to get in and get out we want to knock things out some content is going to be a longer just because if i rant and rave but with this kind of situation i do really like Sonya Deville I'm a huge fan of her and it's unfortunate that she had to deal with that stalker situation which made her step away from the game uh, from the game and when I mean the game the WWE for a bit but it's great to have her back I was happy to see her when she was like a um, interim general manager and everything she had did she did some real great work there so um I'm glad that she is back and I hope I hope what they got going on with Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark and her, I would love to see a solid run from Sonya. She easily, with her uh, with her background, very she could easily be a viable um, a viable not only women's tag team champion but also a women's champion if they ever wanted to push the button. And it could easily be like the WWF days. We have plenty of people who are multiple champions, and when you look at their reigns, they really weren't that long. But it's also a thing of building up. Maybe you would let, uh, let her be a tra like a um, uh, uh, interim champion so you can basically get, it, uh, get the belt on somebody else. You can still do a lot of great work with that situation. And, of course, there is a s situation I was not looking for. We have this with Nikki Cross. Boom, with that skill, uh, with that skip. Let's do it. But I definitely think there could be another Sonya Deville, whether it's a mega superstar version of Sonya Deville or very well, it could be a free to play version of Sonya Deville. I still feel that you had a missed opportunity on doing Fire and Desire with Sonya and Mandy Rose when Mandy was still a part of the company because Mandy, obviously, with how she was being built up, she could have been the chase champion and Sonya could have easily been the free to play unit. So well, there's a lot of things they could do. That stare, that soulless stare gets me. Sometimes champions at Scopely do get me with the, how well, they have me so, like taken back in the sense of how they'll have the card art look so great, but then the actual model looks nothing like the person. Like for instance, CM Punk. CM Punk's card, that's CM Punk. CM Punk's facial, a facial model, kind of gives me a Corey Graves vibe. That's literally what he gives. He gives me Corey Graves vibes. And the same thing goes with Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany's card, oh my God, she looks breathtaking, absolutely impeccable. Captured her, captured her essence. Her actual model in game, like her facial model, I'm like, this is plastic surgery gone wrong. This is this deserves to be in, in an episode of Botcha Mania or Promo Joe right now because this is, this is not it, y'all. This is not it. But we're clearing it out real easy. It might take us a couple rounds to get to get this done. But again, we do have the gem defense. It's a striker versus striker thing. It's literally we're looking at each other like, hey, who's going to strike first? Who's going to hit harder? And we keep it going. It's going to be a lot easier this time around because I won't. If I do have to kick, yep, she kicks out. I literally just need a three match to get everything going. I don't have to do a wild card or anything. I literally just need a three match and we blow up the board again. She's serving her purpose. I really would have loved to do everything with Alexa. But again, I'm glad that I recruited her. But does not mean just because I recruit her does not mean she has to go to the moon. I literally took her up high enough, fully maxed out for the um, the destroy blues, the make uh, the make multiplies and the pin bar not moving at four star bronze, fully maxed out level wise and move wise just to ensure that I got through everything. But um, other than that, I do not need to touch her at all. And just like that, we cleared it out as much as we, as much as we could. I'm not mad about it. I got some key things. Cody was always going to be out of reach anyway. Cody, hopefully just like Rex Regum, hopefully uh, and, and Trish Stratus too, 
Hopefully, I'm able to pick them up later or down the road, but just not right. But not this MLC. It is not happening um, unless I spend money that I do not feel like investing. So that's basically the tour. I mean, we could have done this one, but you need the prodigy. And I, I would love to have those uh, those um, MLC points right there. But in the end, I'm, with all the contests that are out and the content that's yet to be conquered, the the MLC is an easy clear out. It's an easy max out. So once we get to where we need to, we will do those three uh, those three six star guaranteed loot pulls. Obviously, you need the three coins to get the guaranteed six star gold. And RNG's RNG. You could maybe possibly be one of those people that actually pulls two or maybe all three pulls are six star gold character. But Sonya Deville taking down Sonya Deville. Gotta love it. And the cool thing about the build that I use. As I mentioned earlier, all these characters are free. Even Stacy, depending on where you're at, you could probably you've probably pulled her. You've either seen her or had chances at her. So there's that opera there. You could kind of say maybe Stacy's a hit and a miss. But Zombie Priest, Nikki, as well as Butch, they were all free to play MLC champions, former MLC free to play champions. So. Depending on how long you play the game, you probably already got them. You're probably sitting on tons of shards for them. And even when it comes to the different gem damage concoctions that you can make, a lot of the characters that were options here were literally characters that are given out on briefcase pulls and everything. So that's the video. And I hope that you all had an amazing time watching Sonya Ville, quote unquote, Sonya Deville, pardon me, put her hair up. And choose to square up and you know how we do when it comes to normal mode and hard mode gameplay it's autoplay all day but when it becomes to hell mode we lock it down we lock and load and watch the gems explode so we were able to get everything done short sweet and brief right to the point let me know how y'all cleared out the cleared out the striker tour remember it ends on friday so get it done beforehand so you leave nothing up to chance if you got alexa bliss already and you have read a higher star rarity let me know how you cleared it out but with that being said hey yo hard work pays off dreams come true bad times don't last but champions do Mad love and respect to each and every single one of you of my beloved champions fam. If you enjoyed this video, please do yourselves a favor. Help your broski out by liking the video, sharing the video, but most importantly, so you can always know what's going down around the town. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to receive all future notifications when it pertains to content being released by yours truly, the one and only bad guy of wwe champions zeke 4 0 the most electrifying content creator in wwe champions entertainment i love you all i respect you all and i'm praying for you all stay tuned until next time commit to the grind knock out your ozzy torch too because those are up and live knock out your blitzes with all the blitz uh, tickets that are given to you for free 99 get further and further ahead in that madman contest so hopefully when it's all said and done you at least have a six star bronze ozzy osborne and until next time y'all stay tuned let's chop it up within the comments below this video take care peace